Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video we are going to talk about uh, Find My Shift which is a very nice, efficient and uh, simple uh, scheduling for your employees. First of all, we will go through pros and cons. I'll tell you more about uh, this product and uh, then we'll try to set up our account that we already have going on. So what is Find My Shift? Find Manship, this is a simple yet efficient employee scheduling platform that enables uh, its users to create employee schedules, track labor costs, manage shifts, request and communicate with uh, the employees, uh, and many more. The software is a liable, uh, stable and scalable scheduling service for all types of organizations, irrespective of its size. The time and uh, clock application offered by the software allows users to track the hours of work done by employees and compare them against the schedule. It also enables uh, its users to from anywhere they prefer as uh, the software is easily compatible with various devices and web browsers. The simple and easy drag and drop uh, shift planner keeps the users focused on whom they are scheduling and how they are scheduling. The software tracks the hours the employees are actually working with the built-in time clock and hence use the automated reports uh, for cost reporting and payroll. Users can trace the vacations of the employees and the schedule to determine the availability of their employees and calculating their remaining allowance. It's made for all types of businesses, small, medium, and large as well. Then uh, I would love to say that they are really, really uh, using very nice 24-7 uh, live support. So go and you can check and rely on them uh, quite easily and very much. So uh, you can run it uh, on your web browser as I'm running it in Chrome actually but it won't have problem with your mobile device uh, if it's Android or iOS as well. So we logged back in to our Find My Shift and we are ready to proceed with adding a team. We are adding the names. So let's go with uh, Matt King being the first one. Then we can go with Elise Web, for example, Andy Fox, um, uh, let's go with completely made up names, and uh, I don't really want to go like uh, Alex uh, shift. Now we can save and continue our roster for uh, this one. Straight away, we have our overview. In this overview, uh, we can just type uh, a shift, for example, nine to five and press enter and we can go one hour break, which uh, you have by, by a law. And then uh, we can just copy easily by using uh, our Windows commands. For example, comp uh, uh, control C and control uh, U. And you can go like this. Or we can play around uh, with the whole windows or just with one hour breaks, for example. And we can module everything. The greatest advantage I would say compared, for example, to seven shifts is they are way, way easier to operate. This is for like basic users that uh, they are not very well rounded around uh, computer sciences or around computer technologies 
as it is so you're just basically adding the hours you are adding work time and also the breaks for example Matt King will have um, um, for example a holiday so we can go with day off and so on and so on then as you can see we can uh, we can uh, print the roster and for example use it um, and pin it on our backboard then we can uh, send the message which is very easy at the moment it's not so easy because first of all we have to go with the staff and uh, you see that we have us here and then we can basically add email to each and every contact easily just by clicking on the contact you can go with uh for example photo no well this is not a photo but you know it's just a uh, it's little graphics email address mobile phone and uh, when you are finished with updating uh, the contact you just press save and then you can send them a message which is completely completely easy we have facilities for uh, such as room or machines notice board uh, which is completely like if you send uh, your staff a message easily they can uh, uh, rewrite you the be uh, message back and easy for example we can add a day offs for example type of time off uh, display text color holiday manager notes first day and uh, the last day of holidays like this outbox send the message report upload and also we have obviously a settings for our for our uh workers yeah i left the i left the board unsaved that's why we don't have uh whew. that's why we don't have the information in here um and yeah that's uh basically about it it's very easy to operate you can go with holiday and so on and so on so also we have an options staff by default font size default spacing lines days to display paste behavior and many many more we can go by uh, a filters for example let's go and find only Matt King I want to save my uh, changes yes yeah it's a little bit so uh, laggy but let's not use any filters and also we can easily download it then print it as you can see we already set up a holiday day for 13th of uh, 13th of uh, February and for some reason we started Monday which is which was uh, 7th and we are actually actually here so we should be able to basically go like go like this also very nice feature when you just scratched in all the rows and click uh, control u you'll be able to very easily put in all the amounts and then we have a template for pricing plans uh, no we want to save them actually but we don't have to uh, we have a free plan which is for five team members one manager one week of historical data one week of forward planning and three week on screen editor and uh, if you are small a uh, small company or or smaller restaurant this is completely fine for you 
Then we have a starter, which is up to 20 uh, team members, one manager, uh, one year of historical data, three months of work planning, and six weeks on screen editor. Then business and enterprise also. Uh, it differentiates uh, with uh, the team members and also the managers. And uh, I would say it's really, really easy to operate. Also, you can go with uh, monthly or yearly. Uh, one monthly or yearly plan. Yeah, we haven't saved this, but easily we can just copy paste it like this. But as you can see, we kind of messed up the hours. It doesn't matter. It's very easy, very easy to navigate or operate. And that's about it, guys. If you have more questions about Find My Shift, please leave them underneath this video. Thank you for watching and we'll be back soon. Thanks for watching yet again and have a great, great day. Goodbye.